And here on this Wednesday, Dr. David Graff from Animal Care Hospital on Blairs Ferry Road in Cedar Rapids is here. And first of all, Dr. Graff, who do we have joining us today? His name is Tang, and he is a, about a nine-week-old kitten. He's at the Cedar Rapids Animal Care and Control. He's an intact male. Okay. And he's, he's, they say he's really good with uh, older cats. Okay. That, which can also be very good, sometimes mm -hmm. unexpected with the That's younger right. ones. Two questions have come up. We'll get to the first one. One person wrote in saying they have a golden retriever puppy. They want to know what's the ideal age for neutering. They've heard it's between six months and two years. What do you say on this? I say it, the, it's best to watch out for when their baby teeth fall out. Okay. And if you neuter them too young and their baby teeth need to be extracted because they don't fall out properly, quite frequently, then they have to go under anesthesia twice. Okay. So I wait until their baby teeth have fallen out properly or not. That's usually around five and a half to six months. Usually, okay. usually at that at that range. Um, so that way, if they need baby teeth extracted, we do that at the same time that we perform the the surgery. Okay. So just get it all in at once. Now yeah. there are some breeds that it's recommended to wait till they're a year of age. Mm -hmm. For instance, the German Shepherd dog is one. Uh, there's there's no indication for that in the Labrador Retriever. Okay. Yep. Also, another question on the other end of the, the age cycle. 14 year old dog has uh, substantial arthritis. This person writes in, wanting to know what's the best way to comfort her. Can she have things like Tylenol or Advil? She cannot have things like Tylenol and Advil. <laughs> okay, Ty that's what's Ty asked. Uh, human anti inflammatory medicine is not indicated for use in dogs. Right. The, the, the effective doses of those medicines in dogs are high enough to cause bad side effects. Sure. So there are much better anti-inflammatories to use in dogs. Consult your veterinarian for that because there's three or four major tablet form non-steroidal anti-inflammatories similar to mm -hmm. ibuprofen uh, but for dogs that work very well for this. There's also chondroprotectives like glucosamine and chondritin sulfate that come in capsule form that help improve the integrity of the cartilage okay. and, then, and you can also get this in an, in an injectable form called mm -hmm. adequan. Uh, and then for very severe cases joint replacement that can be performed surgically in severe cases, just, just as in humans. Yeah, it isn't with an option for that. But thanks for answering both of those questions because I wonder uh, in those cases, maybe those are widespread concerns for a lot of people. So appreciate the Kansas City Chiefs tie, by the way. I, I did a double take. I'm like, oh, that is complete with a 90s font. That makes me smile. You and I both might be Rex, although I think you're a little bit more confident about Sunday than I am. Always good seeing you, Dr. Graf. And